the first data structure that you're likely to learn in Python is the list. So lists are sort of your bread and butter when it comes to collecting data. And we're going to build out a foundation in lists. And we're going to start that by just creating a simple list. So let's look at some ways to declare a list. Now, be careful. You don't want to name your list list. OK? LST is fine. You could also do something like list one or some list. I tend to do this when it's uh, a throwaway thing. Um, remember, give things good names, right? So let's just make a list called list of bugs. And we'll start this off by just making it empty. If I print this, notice that it prints this empty list. It's just brackets with nothing in between. If I add some things to this list, so I'll add cricket, mealworm, and cicada. cicada. If I print this now, see how this is just these three values. Something important to consider here is that these are in the same order as they are as they were when I put them in here. So a list is an ordered set of elements. We can say it like that. Each of these has an index. And we'll look at that in a little bit. So elements, values, uh, these words are interchangeable, right? So these three strings in here are elements or values. Now, notice that we can mix types in here. So I can put an integer. I can put a Boolean. And if I print this, what we see is a string, a Boolean, and an integer. So we can create lists with no values. We can create lists with values populated. And uh, we want to think of this as being a collection of values, or in this case, a collection of scalar types. Now, we could even put a list within this list, so 10, 20, 30. And this is called a nested list. If I close it correctly, there we go. So notice we've got, in our top level, we've got cricket and true and a list. And then our second level in within this list is 10, 20, 30. So that's the idea of a nested list.